If you thought that Danielle Cohen appropriating the Hispanic culture was bad, just wait until you see Ollie London. Yo, what's going on YouTube, it's I'm Steph, and you guys, growing up, we've seen Justin Bieber fangirls, One Direction fangirls, and even Ivan Steph fangirls. <gasps> but there is one fan who took things way too far. His name is Ollie London. He has an insane obsession with BTS. Not only does he make god-awful wannabe K-pop music, which I wouldn't even call a dollar store version of BTS, because that would be insulting to the dollar store itself. And not only is his obsession with Jimin so crazy that he married a cardboard cutout version of him and only God knows what he does to that cutout off camera but he has spent over $150,000 yeah you heard me $150,000 on plastic surgery to turn himself Korean and look like Jimin so before we get into this video I have a very special announcement to make so for the past few months I've been teasing merch and I'm happy to say that in exactly one week from now on July 20th my very first merch drop will officially be going live. I'll be selling t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and track pants. They'll be coming in the colors of red, purple, light blue, and black. And this is your chance to support me as a content creator. For the first week of the drop, I will be having a discount code. And after that week is up, prices will be going up on the merch. So make sure to buy the merch the first week it comes out to get it as cheap as possible. Anyway, for today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Roly Poly Oli London and listening to some of his music. But just before we do, we got to get to know him a little bit. I'm Ollie London. I'm obsessed with K-pop and BTS. Jimin! Oh my god! And I'm in Korea Gangnam Style. to transform into a K-pop star. Okay, so when this guy says that he's obsessed with BTS, he's not kidding. So now that I'm in Korea, I'm really trying to find Jimin. Oh my god! Oh my god. BTS, Jimin! Oh my god, I love you! Jimin, I love you! One day soon, I'll be able to fulfill my dream and hopefully meeting Jimin. I love ice cream, ice cream is amazing. Oh, it's so good, especially Korean ice cream. I want Jimin flavor. Do they have no. Jimin flavor? Jimin flavored ice cream. Oh god. That's just flat out terrifying and disgusting to say. He literally just said he wants to eat ice cream that tastes like the flesh of Jimin. This guy is literally a real life zombie from The Walking Dead. Like he is absolutely bonkers for Jimin. Some people worship Jesus and other religious figures. Others worship the queen and even Donald Trump. Yeah, right, I'm kidding about that one. But Ollie London is just a full blown Jimin maniac. All K-pop stars have a very sharp V line. So I really, really need to do that. It's gonna be very painful because it's shaving the bone from the inside to the mouth. Ooh, but does this... you have to break your jaw? I don't even know. Oh my like, god. I know. I, I, sometimes it's best not to know. So let me get this straight. You're getting plastic surgery done to your face, literally shaving off the bone from your chin, and you don't know the process that goes with it? I find it amusing that this guy actually thinks that he's a K-pop star by saying that Korean people love me. They're very kind to me, they're very nice, they don't have a problem with it. But just look at the dislike ratio at his music videos. Is this guy not cluing into the fact that Koreans are very upset with what he's doing? Don't get me wrong, it's completely fine to take inspiration from other artists and try new things. But what this guy is doing, it just takes it to a completely another level. I want like a very cute K-pop nose yes. and a very cute uh, smaller face. So that's kind of the surgeries I'm looking for. I'm not actually changing my race. I have a deep respect for Korean culture. It's cultural appreciation, not cultural appropriation. Tomato, tomato, how are you gonna claim you're not appropriate in the Korean culture when you're literally getting plastic surgery done to your face to, well, make yourself look Korean? This dude is only 30 years old, but by the time he's 50, with the amount of plastic surgery and bone removal he's got in, there's literally gonna be no more of his face left. My man is literally gonna disappear and turn into Casper the Ghost himself. Hi, Hi how are you? Thank you for coming. I need to know a few more Korean words. Yeah. How can I say I am your biggest fan? 나는 너의 굉장한 팬입니다. 나는 너의 굉장한 팬. 굉장한 팬. So Ollie London claims to be a die-hard BTS fan, claims to be in love with Jimin, and is getting plastic surgery to look like Jimin himself, but he doesn't even know how to speak the Korean language. 
interesting. You would think that the first thing this guy learned how to say in Korean is, I am your biggest fan. Especially because his entire persona is based off of his creepy obsession with Jimin. But no, no, no. He can barely speak the language at all. The fact that Ollie can even speak the Korean language is how you can tell the difference between culture appreciation, as he claims he's doing, and cultural appropriation. This guy reminds me of one of those kids we all knew when we were younger who was absolutely obsessed with Justin Bieber and had like 20 pictures of him in their room. And let me just say, the surgery is about to get, it doesn't turn out too well. This is my new look, the blonde hair, the plastic surgery, and I'm, I'm happy. Like, if you look at the pictures of me and Jimin, it's, we're identical. Bitch, where? Bitch, where? No. No, no, I, I am sorry to say, but you look nothing like Jimin. I'll admit that your hair is the same, okay? I'll give you that one, the hair, you nailed it. But there's just one, you know, kind of big difference. You're white, like as in the United Kingdom, and he's Korean. So aside from your hair, which you dyed, you look nothing like him, and honestly, never will. The scary thing is that after each surgery, Ollie is in fact looking less like Jimin, and more like Marilyn Manson. So now that we've gotten to know a little bit about Ali London and who he is, it's time to take a look at some of his K-pop music. Except the K, which stands for Korean, is silent, and it's not really pop music either. This. This is a song from BTS, and this is real K-pop. But all these music, it's pretty much a low-budget The Purge sequel meets Rebecca Black's Friday meets Blood on the Dance Floor. With that being said, it's... It's... It's something, all right. So without further ado, let's play the music video. All right, so all these songs is a collab with this Korean rapper named Sten. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't know anything about this Sten guy, but his rapping, it's kind of fire. He's got a nice voice and his flow is on point, but the music video... It just kills it. Like, who directed this music video? It literally looks like a low-budget high school film project. And I'm not sure what it is with the Purge mask. I don't know if they're trying to be scary or think that they're cool, but honestly, it kind of comes off cringy. It reminds me of those weird, edgy, emo videos that you see on TikTok. All right, so I'm not gonna lie, that smoke bomb thing that they're doing is pretty cool, and the aesthetics and scenery are pretty good. But what are these lyrics? Bad boy, bad boy, what you gonna say when the devil in the black dress goes your way? <laughs> what does that even mean? Devil in the black dress. This guy, he's coming my way. <laughs> oh, but this girl. She can come my way any day. Also, I forgot to point out, what is Ollie doing with those hands? Here it looks like he's punching the air and I'm honestly not too sure why. Maybe because he realized that Jimin is completely creeped out by him. And here he's doing some weird wannabe gang signs. He literally looks like a 12 year old who just watched a 6 9 music video for the first time and thinks he's part of a gang. Bad girl, what you gonna do? Where I gone for a lover? Shoots for you. Bad girl, what you gonna say? So this song is called Lockdown City, and I gotta be honest, it's a pretty fitting choice for the title. Because once everyone starts listening to this song, I think the world is gonna go back on lockdown like it was earlier this year. Bang bang, shot you down, another victim hits the ground. I thought this was K-pop music. Why is he talking about shooting people? Most gangs shoot people with guns, but if Ollie were part of a gang, honestly, I think that he would probably shoot people with lip injections. Let's be real, okay? This guy is literally wearing lipstick, nail polish, pretending to shoot people with his fingers, and is calling his enemies bad boy and bad girl. Yeah, so we can kind of conclude to the fact that he is not scaring anybody. Being a self-proclaimed number one fan of BTS, you'd expect this guy to have some pretty great dance moves since BTS are known for how well their dancing is and how well choreographed they are. But he is literally just sitting on a box, waving his arms in random directions. Bang, bang, shot you down, another victim. Down city and the girls in the what the actual f*** is going on right now? Is he really in the middle of a chess game? with himself and what is that what are they doing i can't even begin to imagine how awkward it was for those guys to be on all fours 
literally looking like a horse while Ollie is in the middle of a chess game with himself. This music video, it's just weird. Weird is the only word that can describe this music video and just honestly a complete disgrace to BTS and K-pop music. Anyway, so I've had enough of reacting to this god-awful excuse of a wannabe K-pop song, so that's gonna do it for this video. If you did enjoy and were entertained by my jokes, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. We're so close to hitting 70,000 subscribers, so if we can hit it within the next few days, it truly would mean a lot. For all my BTS and K-pop fans, leave a comment down below on what you thought about this song and what you think about Ollie London in general. I'm gonna be replying to a bunch of comments and hearting them. If you have any requests on what you want my next video to be. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below. And remember, merch will be dropping in exactly one week from today, so you do not want to miss it. For the first week, you will be having the discount code, and after that, there will be no more discount code, and prices will be going up on the merch. So, you know, buy it in the first week because you're going to be getting a great deal. But anyway, that's officially going to do it for this video. So until next time, it's been I'm Steph. Peace. Who ready for this